Dana. My son's name is Noah. We're from Woodstock, Georgia. Noah's in the fourth grade in a self-contained autism classroom. He plays special needs baseball. He does special needs cheer, and he swims for Special Olympics. We've recently started taking him to church, which he, which he loves. Noah was just an extremely overactive, hyperactive child never slowed down and his sleep was just very, very poor. He wasn't speaking. I think probably the first thing that really alerted me was I picked him up at daycare one day and all of the little children, he was about a year and a half old, and all the little children were saying, Noah, your mommy's here, your mommy's here. And Noah hadn't yet even called me mommy at that point. So I was like, okay, something's really different. So Noah was, um, referred for early intervention services in our area it's called babies can't wait because he was not gaining weight he was actually losing weight because we couldn't get him to eat anything just very food intolerant so they came in and did an evaluation and essentially set him up with a treatment plan for his symptoms. They don't give a diagnosis, they only treat the symptoms. And at that point, they started him with occupational therapy and feeding therapy. And we were told, you know, wait till he's four to get that diagnosis. Um, but right before his fourth birthday, we went to a developmental pediatrician and finally got the full autism diagnosis. He did okay with therapies. We got some improvements. We worked on things like pointing, but we didn't get the responsiveness that we'd hoped for. We didn't get great strides. It was just small, small changes. So I um, went on Facebook and basically posed the question, did anyone go to Panama? And immediately my inbox was flooded with parents that said, if you can find a way to make it happen, go. It's a big, scary decision to take your child out of the country. You think about Central America and you don't realize, you just really don't have any frame of reference for what it's like here. And it's just absolutely amazing. So about six or eight weeks after the first treatment here, we sat down with his therapist. They're tracking specific points every time they see your child. So we looked at the data and we're, they're tracking certain things that they're teaching and it, the line does this and then after that first treatment that line starts to do this and then after the second or third treatment his ABA therapist came out one day and he said I just did his reassessment and I want you to know and it's hard not to get choked up about this he's gained more skills than any other child that we have on service in a shorter period of time and more skills that he, than he has ever gained over an evaluation period for us. He was essentially nonverbal. He was using echo speech, echolalia. Um, he would sing. He would repeat lines from TV shows that would apply to the situation to try to communicate. And now he's fully verbal. And it's had such an impact that college or vocational school at this point might be a possibility for him because he has interests and he has things that now we just have so much brighter a future and every time we come we get more and more changes. It has opened a, fu a future for Noah that we never thought was possible. So the family is just it's a miracle. Even they say it's miraculous how different he is and how present he is. If you can find a way to do it, try it. Just try it one time. For us, it has been the most impactful decision we have ever made for our family. It really has. Just, just try it. All kids have different responses and you may not get the miracle that we did and you may get the miracle that we had. We just, just really, really appreciate that you all are here, what you've done for our child, you know, just for any parents that are thinking about coming, do your own research. There are other places, but this clinic has the most experience, they have the most data, they have 
the best, most consistent results out there. And I would just really encourage you. And I would say that this clinic is the safest. It has the best reputation. You're going to come here and you're going to have an amazing time. It's clean. It's comfortable. It's exciting to come. You cannot beat the views from the hotel. <laughs> it's just all around. It is a first class experience. And that would be my takeaway. It's the best value.